Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to create a simple 3D part with a compass 3D version 18. Okay, first uh, you can click uh, new part, this uh, icon, and we will go into part uh, drawing area. If you want to change units, you can go to settings and click to parameters. In here you can click for new document tab and click on graphic documents click on measurement units and you can see the length unit in here you can change into millimeter centimeter or meters in here we can use a default unit so we will use uh, in millimeters the next uh, i will uh, create a new sketch you can click here create sketch and I will choose a blue plan. You can click here, blue plans. It will be automatically go into blue plan view. And in here, I will quad rectangle. You can click here, rectangle, start from this point, and you can move into this point. You can use smart dimension, this icon, to change length for uh, this line object. You can click here and click uh, this lines. I will change in here into 45. You can click. And I will click this uh, plus minus icon. We can check for nominals, applies, and I will change into 45. You can click OK. The next, uh, I will change again length for this line objects. In here, we can set into 20. And don't forget to set into nominals, applies, and you can click OK. I will create circle object. You can click here, circles. Okay, I will create in center point from this line objects. Click at this point, and I will set for radius in this circles or diameter into four. Don't forget to set into nominals applies, and you can click OK. And for length, you can click from center point. Use this option. Okay, you can set from center points into here and in here we can set into 5 and I will check for nominal applies and you can click OK I will use a segment uh, command to quad line start from these points and we can move into these points ok quad again from this point into this point now you can use a trim command to cut uh, this line objects you can use uh, this uh, time frame a cube okay select uh, these lines and also in here and also add uh, this uh, circle objects okay i will duplicate these objects you can use some mirror tools you can click here mirror for object you can select uh, these uh, objects click ok now for mirror line i will click stuff from a center point in here and move to the top you can click to apply so it will be mirroring and you can use a trim cube uh, command again to cut this line object okay the next i will use fillet tools uh, we can change for radius into five we can fillet in this corner also at this point okay in here and at this point you can change for radius into one and you can fillet in here at this point in here and the last at this point okay. now you can close cat by clicking at this icon close cat and it will be go into modeling mode to convert uh, these objects into 3d solids you can use extrusion elements you can click at this icon extrusion element and it will be automatically select uh, into objects and extrusions in here we can set for extrusion into 6,2 6,2 and you can click OK so it will be extrusions can see the next I will draw rectangle in uh, this face you can click here quad sketch and now select at uh, this face and we can quad rectangle start from this point and move into here I will use a smart dimension. We can set a dimension in here. I will set into 20. And don't forget to check the nominals. Apply. Okay. We create for distance from uh, the center points in here. 
Okay, I will set into 22,5. Set into nominals, applies, and you can click OK. So it will be changed in the um, center points of uh, this line object. The next for width in here, we can set into 6,2. 6,2. And then I will uh, check nominal applies and you can click OK. Now you can close that. And then I will use uh, extrusion elements again. Uh, but first, if you want to drop and drag, you can press middle mouse this, uh, to use a pen option. And for zoom in, zoom out, you can use a scroll mouse to zoom out. To uh, use orbit, you can click, right click, and hold to use uh, orbit. This for orbit. Okay, this for uh, navigation in uh, Compass 3D. Okay, we can use uh, extrusional menu. Can click here, and we can select uh, this objects. We can extrude into 17,5. Click OK. And now I will use fillet tools. We can fillet with uh, radius 10. Select at this edge, and also at this point. Click OK to apply. The next, uh, I will quad cut again, and we can select at this face. We can quad circle, okay, from uh, center point at uh, this objects. You can click here, and you can move to the top here. We can set into twelve. It's okay, and now we can uh, close again. We can use uh, cut by extrusions. And I will set this 10 into 3. So this for 3. And here I will set into 2. Okay, this for 2. And you can click OK to apply. So it will be cut. We press cut again. You can select at this face. We create a circle from a center point. And you can move into here with a diameter 6. And close cut. The next, uh, we can use a uh, cut by extrusion to automatically cut and you can click OK. So it will be quite hole in here. You can see. The next, uh, I will use a uh, fillet tool. So you can click here fillet. And for radius, you can set into one. So I will select at this face. Also at this point. Okay. And then so we can click in a button here this face you can click uh, ok to apply okay i will use a uh, fill again and you can select at this edge in it and the last at this point click ok to apply we change a view you can click here for uh, visual styles you can click shade or another option hidden lines our frame you can change at uh, this uh, options we also can change for uh, views like isometric is for isometric is for the matrix and another view you can use in uh, this option click close and then we already create uh, this uh, simple 3d model part in uh, compass 3d if you have any question about these uh, tutorials, you can comment below this video.